The VO2 max test is the direct measure of your body's maximal ability to use oxygen and it's the gold standard for measuring cardiovascular fitness. The issue though is that this test requires expensive metabolic carts, making it fairly inaccessible to the general public. So how can we still get an idea of an individual's VO2 max without breaking the bank? What we can do is measure heart rate during submaximal exercise, exploiting the linear relationship that exists between heart rate and oxygen consumption. Using a stationary Monarch bike, the YMCA protocol involves two to four three-minute stages of continuous cycling exercise, where the individual will experience a progressive increase in exercise intensity while maintaining a steady pedaling frequency of 50 rotations per minute. The test is stopped at stage four or if the person reaches 85% of their age predicted maximal heart rate. So here's an example. Chelsea is 25 years old and weighs 70 kilograms. Using her age, we can predict her maximal heart rate, which we'll use later to predict her maximal VO2, as well as to establish her heart rate cutoff for the test. Here we can predict her heart rate max to be either 195 using an older equation or 191 using a newer equation. Like every YMCA protocol, she begins the exercise test with a 0.5 kilogram load on the bike and when pedaling at 50 rotations per minute and knowing the standard distance of one revolution to be 6 meters for the Monarch bikes, then we can calculate that she is pushing against a 150 kilogram meter per minute load, which is also the equivalent of one kilopound of force or 25 watts if we divide this number by 6.12. Her heart rate was 83 beats per minute after the first three minute stage. Using the chart, we now know which protocol to choose, which tells us to increase the total load on the bike to two kilopounds. Her heart rate rises to 98 beats per minute by the end of stage two. We add another half kilo for stage three and her heart rate increases to 137. And finally, adding the last half kilo for stage four for a total of three kilograms on the bike, which is also equal to 150 watts. And Chelsea ends the test with a final heart rate of 155 beats per minute. When extrapolating the line of best fit up to her predicted heart rate max of 191, we can estimate her peak watts to be around 240 which we can then convert to a predicted relative VO2 max of 45 milliliters per kilogram per minute. So a little bit of number conversions involved, so it's important to remember that it is a prediction and that there are limitations associated with this method. Nonetheless, a very powerful and relatively easy method to use when testing and retesting patients and clients. Try it out.